Hey guys, it's Lucid, and I've got a pretty special announcement, and that is that the tournaments are uh, starting up. So we were going to wait until the uh, the finals finished. The finals have not finished, guys. The finals are going deep, 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 deep into late game, uh, and it's going to be pretty amazing. So um, yeah, stay tuned. Uh, we've got a lot more finals episodes to keep blasting at you. Um, however, we've decided it, it's been over a year since the finals started. Not since the tournament last year started, since the finals started. The finals game is a year old. So, we decided we're going to go ahead and start this anyway. And by we, I mean mostly Kirby. So, um, that's the second kind of part of this announcement. And I'm going to talk more about this at the end of the video some. Is that, uh, Kirby is going to be in charge of this year's tournament. Not me. I will do some things like I'm doing this video, but in general, I am not going to be in charge of it. I'll probably help out a little bit, um, and I'm, I'm probably not going to play in it myself. Uh, I would, but I'll talk about that at the end of the video as to why I'm not. Basically, I'm taking a step back from gaming for a while. Um, so, yeah, we'll talk about that later, but uh, more about the finals. So, to sign up, you come to my Discord. I'm going to have a link for that in the description. And when you get here, you can see in the announcements, uh, Myth has gone and announced the wheels turn again, and we're pleased to announce the latest installment of the annual tournament. This year, contestants will compete in 12 randomly assigned games of 12. Uh, the victors of each making their way to the Baker's Dozen final round. Um, not sure how we get the Baker's Dozen. Um... Yeah, <laughs> well, I'll have to talk to Myth about that. It may not be possible. As usual, the event is open to all players who have won at least one game, uh, at least one victory in a public game. So uh, this doesn't include duels. If you've won a 1v1, it's not going to count. It needs to be a game of, you know, at least four players. Um, if you firmly believe you're an exception to that, you can maybe try to sweet talk Kirby into letting you in anyway. But usually this is for a, a good reason. Um, if you haven't won a single multiplayer game, you're not going to win a game of 12 people, most likely, that have all won a multiplayer game. It's going to be really hard. Because some of the people that are in there are going to have won like 10 multiplayer games. And those people, when you haven't even won one, it's just going to be really hard to win against them. It's possible, but it's not really likely. So. Uh, it's kind of honor system. We're not going to really like deep dive and check these things, but my dog is scratching herself. But if you haven't, uh, it's probably not going to be fun for you. We already had uh, the dreamers round. I'll actually pause it and show you the results because all those people are going to, to come in. All right. So for the dreamers, the idea for the dreamers, this was, um, I think this was, yeah, this was like seven months ago or something. I did the announcement for this. Um, but yeah, we had, um, basically, if you hadn't won a single game, you could still participate in the tournament by doing the Dreamers round. And this would be like a feeders round for uh, for the main qualifiers. So all, hopefully we see all of these players um, in, in the qualifiers. We had uh, Sharon. I'm probably going to say some of these wrong. Win is EA Ubar. We had uh, Exasperated uh, Cultist. Win is Middle Age End. I can't remember if she was... Uh, I feel like she was a sub, but I can't remember. Uh, we had Belgarat. I don't know how to say that. One is L.A. Gath. We had Popeye win as E.A. Pangea. And we had T.R. win as E.A. T.N.C. And these were really cool games. Some of these people put up, uh, like, there were a few, um, I think, YouTube videos that people uploaded with at least parts of their experience from playing in these games. If you did... Um, Put your put your a link to your video in the description, um, or not in the description in the comments, and that way people can go check it out if they want to. Um, I think I might have linked to a couple of them in the announcement video or something. I don't, I don't know. Anyway, but yeah, hopefully um, these players all get to come in. And part of the reason for doing the tournament was to get people stoked about playing Dominions, get people more involved in multiplayer. And so this was just kind of like a call to arms for people that hadn't won a multiplayer game yet to come and participate in the tournament. So now hopefully we'll see all of these guys in uh, the finals because they've all won a game now. Um, 
But yeah, so you come to this channel. We're going to go through how I'll finish the announcement here. Um, you can look in the announcements. You come down here to the tournament hub, and it's under 2022 tournament. We have the 2021 tournament, which is ongoing. Um, but yeah, you come down here and you sign up. Now, to sign up, what I need you to do is you're going to ping Kirby because Kirby is the only one who can edit the sign up messages. So, Kirby Redson. Kirby also has a YouTube channel. He's got some really good videos on it. Um, he's been in a lot of games with me. He's a really cool dude. So uh, go check out his YouTube channel too. Um, but yeah, ping Kirby and um, <clears throat> yeah, he'll get you signed up. We already have a lot of people signed up, guys. Um, I told them, because I, you know, like I mentioned, I'm kind of stepping back out of uh, the tournament this year, that we needed to do the signups before uh, we did the video and they just did it today. Like they just announced it today and oh my God, it's almost filled up. I mean, not really. We have 144 spots, but Jesus Christos. Wow. Um, <laughs> yeah. So hurry up and sign up. Uh, hurry up and get in here. Cause this is going to, this is going to fill up way faster than it did last year. Like, I think I'm going to put this video up tomorrow. Well, today it's like two in the morning. I'll put it up sometime on Saturday, but it'll probably be full by Tuesday. So uh, if y'all are slow signing up, you just might not get in. We may do, if we have, we're talking, so the GMs on the channel are talking about what to do if we get way more than 140 that want to play. Like, we could do more than a 12-person final, but we don't really want to do a 16-person final. I mean, we could do 16 games of 12, but that would be a little rough. And the problem is, for, for normal map nuke maps, you need to have... your The number of people in the finals needs to be divisible by numbers that are close to each other. That's why 12 is good, because it's divisible by 4 and 3. But like 14, it's divisible by 2 and 7. But those are really far apart, so you end up with like a really weird long map. 15 is 3 and 5, which isn't great, but playable. 16 is a lot better with 4 and 4, but now we're back up to like really big games. Anyway, so we'll have to figure out what we do if we have way more than 144 people, which I'm pretty sure we're going to have. I mean, this thing's going to fill up like crazy once we get uh, uh, once we get the, the video done. So um, anyway, yeah, you come up here, you ping Kirby um, or Ravzia. I, I guess Ravzia can sign you up too. Um, and yeah, or you can ping just Game Masters in general. And, uh, yeah, we'll get you signed up. Once you're signed up, uh, the games will probably start within a week. So you need to kind of, like, hang around Discord, you know, check it once a day or something until the game starts that you're in. But um, Ball and Stalin will probably assign you to a game. Um, so once we get 140 people, he'll probably take this list, randomize it, put people into different games. And there's some, some games are going to be way harder than others. Cause like, you know, you could have a game with like balls and Psy and like the Kirby or something in it. And you're just going to be like, shit, <laughs> you know? Um, but then other games, ever, all the games are going to be challenging. I would say this is like, I haven't won a qualifier game yet, guys. I, I'm zero for two for qualifier games. And I won that 70-something player Bosmos game, and then I was, like, second place in the other one. So the qualifier games are high-skill games in general. They are hard, but there are some that are going to be, like, exceptionally hard. You know, the sad thing about that is if you have three really good players in a single game just by the luck of the draw, only one of them is going to pass on. So the thing is, the finals is never going to have, like, the very best people, because just, you could get unlucky and get eliminated in the qualifier round, even if you're the second best player in the game. Uh, because the first best player in the game was also there. But, there's enough good players in the Dominions community now, that even if we lose a few players who get eliminated kind of sadly in the qualifier round, we will still have enough where the qualifier, or where the finals will be amazing. So, you sign up, you get randomly assigned to games. Once you're in the game, um, you're going to get given a random order, uh, an order to draft. Um, everybody's going to go and ban uh, a nation, and we'll have the rules for that specifically in the game. But generally, you can ban like up to three or four nations net. 
each player only votes to ban one. Uh, and then after that, you're going to draft your nations in the draft order, which is randomized. And once you have your nations, then basically uh, somebody's going to come and make a map for your game. We'll have rules for that. That'll be posted in the game channel. And um, yeah, you make your pretender god and the game starts. So um, the one person who wins that game proceeds to the finals, and that's how that goes. So that is the signups. Um, the other thing we're going to talk about real quick is I'm going to do like a more lengthy, I'm going to do a more lengthy thing on this. Um, but basically, uh, I'm going to be stepping back from gaming for a while and, um, I, I'll explain more, but basically it was affecting my mental health too much. I just was too invested in these and it wasn't bringing me joy. Like, it was bringing me catharsis, but it wasn't bringing me joy. Uh, and it was affecting my sleeping, and I wasn't getting on with other things I wanted to get on in life with. So, I'll just take a step back from all that for a while. We'll see how long it ends up being, but it's going to be for a while, at least. And, um, so I'm not in any Dominions games right now. Um, I don't plan to be in the finals, I mean in the tournament. Which is too bad, because I was really looking forward to this, but um, I think it's for the best for me. Um, but, um, yeah, so we've got... Well, yeah, so I, I, don't, I don't know how much more I want to say about that now. But, yeah, basically I'm going to be taking a step back. Um, I'll be distantly involved in this. I'm not going to... There's a small chance I will cast the finals... Uh, depends on where I am in six months or whatever when it starts, but, um, I don't think I will. I, I could, the thing is, the, the part that was really bringing me down is I would get so invested in the game that that's all I would think about. Like, I'd be thinking about it at, like, in the bathtub, I'd be thinking about it at night, I'd be, like, when I'm going to bed. I'd just be thinking about it all day long, I'm going on a run, I'm sitting there thinking about plays to make. And, you know, that's fine, I guess, when you're having fun in the game. But, like, when the game turns south with diplomacy and you're thinking not only about the moves but about how much you dislike certain players, it just isn't healthy. And it was affected, like, it was really affecting me. So, um, I could probably cast a game without it affecting me like that and with it staying compartmentalized and not taking up a lot of my life. So I may choose to do it, but for now I just need a clean cut. So I've just cut all these things out entirely. Um, what I will say though is I do have videos that are going to go at least to the end of the year. Because um, there's a bunch of games I've been in that I haven't finished uploading. And I've already got them all recorded. I've got most of them uploaded. So these games should go at least to the end of the year. So if you're worried about running out of Dominion's content... Um, don't worry about that yet. <laughs> There's going to be a lot more. Um, it will slow down a little bit. I won't have a video every day, but I'll have multiple videos um, a week uh, going out to the end of the year. So um, stay stoked. The tournament finals, by the way, guys, um, are amazing. I just want to, I think I, I want to spend a little bit more time. We'll close out talking about them. They are on turn. Oh God, what turn is it now? It's like, you can see there's a lot of extensions, but they are on turn. A lot of extensions. 116. Jesus Christos. I mean, it is ridiculous, guys. It's uh, The latest I've been is like 142 or something. And that was an, an extremely arduous labor of love. Uh, 120 is like the latest games normally have ever gone for me. Like the 140 was like, holy crap, what is happening? 120 is like, this is like the normal max upper bound and they are getting there. There's a very good chance this game will go to 120. So um, it has been an amazing game. I think it's been amazing for everybody involved. Um, it's been, I, I've heard from almost all the players who were in it that it was a very special game for them. And it's, like I mentioned, it's taken a year to finish. Like, it it has been going on for a year. And we only live, like, 80 years. So, 
people have given up one year out of 80 to play in this game. I mean, it's pretty intense. Um, and I think for everybody who made it pretty far into the game, it's taken up probably a lot of their brain power for the past year because you're spending a lot of time thinking about it. It's complicated. So um, they have all said, or most of them have said to me in one way or another that it's a pretty special game because it's just, you know, everybody's taking it seriously, trying to play really hard. Um, and it's just really high skilled players. And there just aren't many things like that in the Dominions community. Like you just, it's just a quality of game that is pretty unique. And it's, I would say it's not only unique within Dominions, it's kind of unique within like the world and the internet in the sense that there's not really hardly any free form, free for all, long form, like taking a long time doing these turns. There, there's not many multiplayer games like this that people play competitively in multiplayer in the world that have, you know, a free form game, which means you're, the, the, I mean, a free for all game. And free for all is really important because it means diplomacy is going to be really important. Um, and, you know, strategy, I don't know. I, I just, it's, it's pretty special, I think. Well, these, the, the tournament in general, because the qualifier games are really good. And the final game is just amazing. So it's been special for the players who have been in it. Um, because it's a game that I think I've heard from each of them is unlike any other game they've really been in. And then from, from me casting it, it, it's been next level. Like the plays, like people expecting things they have no right to expect. Planning like 50 moves ahead of, you know. Just people thinking about all sorts of things. It makes you see the game in a different way. It's been amazingly fun to cast. And the nice thing about casting is you're not so invested in it that it affects your mood which <laughs> is good except in a good way i've had so much fun and special thanks to maryland i i know uh for him it's been a great experience too um i know he said it's 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 really gotten him back into dominions um and i think you know i think it's re-energized his channel he's been if you haven't watched he has the the tournament duels going up now he's got all this other cool stuff coming up on his channel so uh, go check that out if you haven't. That he's got these little one v one duels. I participated in some of them, but yeah. Um, so it's gotten him fired up about Dominions again. And then um, I think for all the viewers, it's been special. Like we're on. I think I've got we're on like episode eighty or something coming up for the finals. And guys, like normally when I get to episode eighty, which is kind of rare, a lot of my series only go to like fifty. Uh, and we'll be at like 400 viewers on average or something, right? So like, you know, like when I first put up a national overview, 3,000, 4,000 people will watch it, right? But by the time we get to episode 40, we're down to like the core 400. Like these are like the hardcore Dominions nerds who are like, I want to be the master of this nation or they're really invested in the story or whatever. They just want something to listen to while they're at work. But for the tournament finals, we have a thousand people still watching it at episode 80. And that's because it's a really good game. Like, the the plays in it are just amazing. So, anyway, that, that's, I think, what we're going to close on here. It's just the finals have been, I think, really special for the players, for the casters, and then for, uh, hopefully, for a large part of the viewers. So, I hope you all have enjoyed them. If you want a shot to be in next year's finals, come to my Discord sign up um special thanks in closing to all of the gms on my server uh and then to all the admins for uh for running this game because like i said i'm going to be much more di i'm not going to be absent but i'm going to be way more unplugged this year um though certainly i'm gonna watch whoever uploads it um if, if i'm not the one casting it myself so uh yeah it's going to be amazing guys sign up Hope you're stoked. I'm stoked. Get in here. There's not many spots left.